Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Yeah, you guessed it, another one. Now on this one, this was dealing with schisms and fights and, and um, all kind of conflicts in the family and, and uh, relationship dynamics and, and resentment, anger, bitterness, uh, violence, all kind of mess. Well, and above all, unforgiveness. One of my uh, friends, a person I know, was talking about her children. And she was really bothered. This hat won't stay down. She was really bothered by the fact that her kids were not speaking to each other. Really bothered her. Kids, grandkids, you know how that goes. It really hurt her heart. And as she was talking about the issue that was at hand and why they wouldn't talk to each other, it was not a deal breaker as far as relationships go, but they were treating it as such. So when one would come, the other would go. When one would go, the other would come. I mean, it was pitiful. Totally avoiding each other. I say this to you. Some of you have issues with people in your church. Rightfully so in some cases. But no matter how legitimate, no matter how big, no matter how small. And I'm not talking sinful things like molestation and threats. And I'm not talking about that. You need to stay away from people like that. But you still have to forgive them for your sake. You have to ask God for the ability to forgive. Most of us don't have that naturally. Some people are naturally uh, merciful. But some of us are naturally resentful and bitter, like me. And when you ask God to help you forgive someone, you be surprised at his miraculous power to enable us to forgive folks we would normally wish we did. I'm here to witness to that account. God is more than able to enable you to forgive. He does not. If you can imagine if a grandmother is hurt by her children and her grandchildren being at odds with each other. Imagine. Imagine the enormity of God's hurt. How it bothers him. To see us fighting each other. To see the Baptists against the Pentecostal. To see the Charismatics avoiding the uh, holiness. To see the holiness not touching the uh, Catholics as if that's an unclean thing. I don't care what church you're dealing with. There is also, uh, there is always a remnant in that group in that denomination you may not agree with the denomination you may disagree wholeheartedly but always believe there is somebody in those remnants in those groups there's always a remnant somewhere that truly has a relationship with God and their understanding is correct but they're not giving up on the people that they've been going to church with for all their life don't give up on each other don't look at each other out the side of your eye like, hmm, mm -mm. don't judge, lest ye be judged. Be careful about how you uh, draw conclusions about different movements, different denominations. Don't be so quick to call something a cult, because even though you may think it's a cult, their belief system may be cultish. It doesn't mean that everybody in that movement is a cult follower. They may be a God chaser. You hear me? And they may be a Jesus freak filled with the Holy Spirit and that with a mighty burning fire. Hoping to make a difference in that group that's so full of error. God may have told them to stay and keep their mouth shut about it. Don't be so quick to write a whole group off because some of them have it so wrong. Guess what? Nobody has the last word on the word, do they? 
neither do you neither does your group where you are correct you have it right on point trust me baby there's somewhere you are off as two left shoes because none of us have the last word on the word think on that say la and happy new year